Hey folks, it's Tobin with AZ Off Grid. I am back up here at the property. Uh, let's see, it's November 19th, Saturday, and it's about 3.20 p.m. It's getting kind of cloudy up here. I think it's supposed to rain 90% chance, I believe, on Monday. Monday or Tuesday, one of those days. Anyways, um, I wasn't going to come back up here this weekend, but my wife said, uh, you know, I might as well because I'm not coming back up here on Thanksgiving, apparently. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to come back up here between now and that week I'm going to do up here in uh, December, the end of December. So I figured if I had the chance, I might as well take it. What did I do? So first things first, I brought up a better vacuum, one of our old ones. Still works pretty good, but it had a little tear in the hose down there at the bottom. So, the wife wanted a new one. Um, first thing I did was I checked the water level on all of my batteries. I had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of acid spewing out the top. Not spewing. You could just see a little residue of acid coming out of some of the ports, the cells. So, I checked them all. Um, believe it or not, the two batteries that I bought first about, I don't know, a year and a half ago, they were still full on water. The other six that I've bought in the last, I don't know, five, six months, uh, probably four of those, uh, were uh, getting down there. So I topped them off. Um, everything's looking good. Okay, um, I didn't end up getting much done on the cabin. Well, much. I didn't do anything on the cabin. Um, I'm, I only had a day up here. You know, I came up here last night after my my two two boys got out of school and football practice. They're up here with me. They're inside playing video games with a friend of theirs they brought up here. Um, so we came up here. We got here late, or actually I should say early in the morning and uh, we got up I don't know eight nine o'clock this morning and then I have to leave tomorrow go back home so I don't have a whole lot of time but what I decided to do is I picked up this uh, I guess it's a 300 gallon tote the last mark on it is 250 250 right right here so I don't know, another 25 gallons, maybe 275, I don't know, if you top it up, you know, up to full. Um, I'm getting tired of bringing these blue barrels up here and having to bust out my, my, uh, you know, my AC water pump, which works great, by the way. I bought that at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're still selling them there. It works really well. Um, in fact, this hose that I'm using, this RV hose, it's actually... It, it doesn't work too well for the pump. The pump wants to, it, it has more force coming out of the pump. And it, in fact, it'll, it'll start collapsing the hose. It's got so much power to it. So probably better if I had a, a bigger diameter hose, but it's been working so far. Anyways, so normally I'll come up here. I will uh, take one of these blue barrels and I'll hook the, put a hose in it, get the power going and I'll, nearly empty one of those barrels into my water tank. It, it almost holds a full barrel, maybe two thirds of a barrel. I'm getting tired of doing that every time I come up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm building this stand. It's four feet tall. I'm gonna put that piece of plywood over there on top. I'm gonna paint it with some exterior paint. I'm gonna set them over here, set it over here on these four bricks behind the trailer. I was gonna initially put it right here here at the tail end of the trailer where these barrels are at, but then I thought, you know, every time I step out the door of the trailer here, I'm gonna have this big, huge water tank right in my face. I really don't wanna look at that all the time. So, I'm gonna put it right back here behind the trailer, and I'm painting it um, black. And I know the paint looks like, like crap right now, but I'm using this stuff called Plasti Dip. 
pick it up at Home Depot's, Lowe's, probably any hardware store. It's basically spray on rubber. You put it on three or four coats uh, lightly, each coat. It doesn't have to look perfect, as you can see by the runs. Um, but by the third or fourth coat, it's all one color. It's thick, and it's basically a, a rubber coating that dries. Um, I've I've used it before. I put it on my my cases that are on my motorcycle. I coated all the, all the cases and that stuff, and I've had it on there for a year and a half, and it's still protecting it great. Um, anyways, um, I figured I'd I'd cover this in the Plasti Dip spray for one to keep the light out of it, so I don't get you know to prevent algae from growing so much, and two because it gets so cold here and then hot here in the summer. Not really hot, but the sun is crazy. The, the power of the sun here is just ridiculous. I don't know if it's the altitude or what, but I mean, 20 minutes out in the sun here and you're starting to burn. Anyways, this it's kind of a rubbery, uh, it's just kind of a rubber. I don't know. You could peel it off. You could scrape it off and peel it off in, in little sheets. But anyways, I figure it won't crack as easily because of it's, you know, rubbery compound. So that's what I'm doing with that. Anyways, I'm going to set that on top of that. Over there, I went ahead and put this little valve here. This is white. I sprayed it also in Plasti Dip. Hopefully the sun will help warm it up in the morning so it doesn't freeze so easily. I had a hard time figuring out a way to get this all to work because all that came with the tank is this valve here with a huge, I don't know, two, two and a half inch, very, very coarse thread uh, cap. And I didn't have anything that could easily fit on that. Maybe there's something out there. If there is, you guys, could you please let me know? Because this is kind of kind of my typical way of doing things. Uh, you know. Anyways, um, it's just a rubber reducer is all it is you, you, with hose clamps on it. And I just clamped the heck out of it over here on the uh, spout and put some silicone in there but underneath this is just very coarse threaded you know uh, spout I mean there's like three threads on it that's how coarse it is over the space of about I don't know an inch a half an inch maybe a half an inch but anyways this is what I have so far this you know the hose will hook up to this the height of this after being on top of this platform this stand here and on the bricks it's going to be probably about six, six inches higher than my water in. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is, is eventually I'm going to get enough of these barrels coming up here, you know, probably one or two at a time when I come up here. And when this is all set up over there, I'm going to fill this up. That way, um, all I have to do, you know, two or three trips up here is just hook the hose up to it and it'll gravity feed right into my tank and I won't even have to mess with the pump not that it's a big deal but it's just it's one less step that I have to do when I'm up here when I when my time is is valuable up here so uh, the clouds are really moving in I think it's gonna I hope it doesn't rain before I get out of here tomorrow morning it'll just be a mess anyways um, I brought up some bird seed I heard some birds this morning, but I haven't seen a single bird. Usually they come in, they're, they're feeding off that bird feeder hanging in the tree there like crazy, but I guess they flew south. I don't know. I heard a couple of birds earlier today, but I haven't seen a single one of them. So um, that's about it for now. I'm going to probably put the top on this thing. And I think I'm going to go see my neighbor, see what he's doing over there. Anyways, I'll probably get back with you tomorrow morning before I leave. Just to cap this whole thing off. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. It's, uh, let's see, I don't even know what time it is. It's dark, I know that. I can't tell. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, 6.20, 6.15, 6.20 p.m still Saturday um, this camera really doesn't do it justice but that light up there that little solar light that I have it, it's 
you really can't see it on the, on, the, on the phone here, but it's lighting the entire area up over here. It really is. In fact, we're getting ready to do a little barbecue. My son was cleaning the grill, and as soon as I started recording, he took off because he doesn't want to be on camera. I don't blame him. I don't either. Um, uh, you can't see it. It's too dark over here. Anyways, uh, the boys were playing video games off and on and riding dirt bikes and all that stuff. And uh, anyways, they had their laptops charging the whole time. The phone's charging. Anyways, the battery started getting a little low about 20 minutes ago. It was down to, I don't know, 12.4, 12.5. So what I did was, is I unplugged the trailer from the inverter, and I plugged it into my little Honda generator. I guess all you can see is a green light right now, it's in the dark. And then I plugged the cable from the inverter down and into my the other outlet on my uh, generator. And what it's doing right now is it's actually slowly charging my battery bank, the inverter, it's an inverter charger, as you can see, um, this little black knob right here, you got to be real careful with that, if you turn it too much to the left, counterclockwise, it'll throw so much amperage into your battery so quick that it will actually fault out, I don't know what it means, I guess it's, it, it might be a temperature thing, sensing too much uh, amperage to the batteries, I don't know, but it'll It'll jump the, the voltage up on the batteries really quick, and that's it's probably not good for your batteries to do that. So what I did was I turned it down. It's just over halfway. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little, like a plus, like a Phillips, I don't know, a Phillips mark at the front of it, and I had it nearly at half, half a turn there. Um, so it's slowly charging my batteries. They're up to 13.4. I guess. So it's going up about, I don't know, a tenth of a volt every five or ten minutes. A nice, slow, gradual charge. Not going to hurt the batteries at all. Um, I'm going to keep that up for, I don't know, probably an hour. At least while I, while I cook dinner. And uh, then I'll shut it off and plug the trailer back into the inverter and, you know, run off the batteries throughout the night um, I don't know how cold it is out here it's probably probably 48 degrees sorry guys it's all dark out here you can't see it on camera but there's actually light all around us here from that light on the cabin you just can't I don't know it doesn't pick up on the camera I don't know I guess it's uh, I guess it's about 54 degrees sorry I thought it was colder than that. Still got the clouds coming in. Anyways, I just wanted to show you real quick how I how I charge the batteries with my inverter at night. Or like today, it was I think it's just past about two o'clock the clouds rolled in, so the, the panels weren't really getting any sun after about two o'clock. And like I said, the boys were using the game system and laptops and all that stuff wearing down the batteries so that's how I charge my battery bank when I uh, at night or when it's cloudy out when they're getting low I just hooked the generator up to it for a little bit and that's the great thing about this inverter um, it'll charge your battery bank um, but you for some reason you can't plug you can't plug your power source or your power draw as I should say my trailer you can't plug it in the inverter and power like say my trailer while I'm charging the batteries it'll, it'll only do one or the other it won't do both at the same time so that's why I had to plug the trailer into the inverter or not the inverter I'm sorry the, uh, the generator and then plug the uh, inverter into the generator as well in the, uh, in the second outlet so um, like I said, I'm going to let that go for a little bit, and once it's up to, I don't know, 13, 8, 14, 
I'll switch it back over, shut the generator off, put it away, and by then we'll be eating, probably watching TV, or I guess I'll probably be watching the kids play video games. I think we're going to have a little bitty fire out here tonight. Per the request of my son, who doesn't really want to be on camera, but he wants a campfire. I think we're going to do marshmallows, uh, probably s'mores. I think we have everything here to do s'mores, so... Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'll update you again tomorrow before we leave, and I'll see you then. Okay, YouTube. It's Sunday, November 20th, right around noon. We're getting ready to leave. The boys are inside uh, eating some kind of lunch. All right, so this is what I got done. I built the stand. I threw some paint on the outside of it. I didn't get some paint on the inside yet, but... It's protected enough, I think, from rain and snow until I get back up here. Um, I, I put three coats of that Plasti Dip spray rubber on this side, just because I don't want to have to try to squeeze in there and paint it later. And I still have to do this side here, and then put you know three more coats on. I got the top three coats. I positioned this stand far enough away that I can get in here to my water heater. I can open the door all the way and it's not an issue. And any kind of venting from the water heater here, it's not going to affect the wood or, or any risk of fire. It's plenty far away from that. Um, it's perfectly leveled. It took me a little while to get that perfectly level, but it is. My, uh, spout here is high enough that I hook a hose up to it and it'll gravity feed right down to my my water in right there so every so often I'll take these barrels home or in town close to here and uh, I'll fill them up and then bring them up here and all at one shot I'll just fill this tank up here so I won't have to mess with it every time I come up here mess with the pump and fill in the trailer and all that so that's pretty much what we did here. Uh, kids rode the bikes. Uh, that's about it. Not much else. It's getting ready to rain, it looks like. I'm going to get out of here hopefully before it does. And I don't know if I'll be back up here again before I come back here the last week of December. I, I might. I'm going to try to. Probably in a few weeks I'll try to get back up here. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's about 56 degrees, 55 degrees out here right now. The wind's blowing pretty good. Um, my neighbors have already gone home. And I'm about ready, about ready to do the same. There's a little bird over there. Just found the bird seed. I'm, I'm surprised to see that. I haven't seen any birds the entire weekend I've been here. And now I see one here. So that's good. Good to know. And I think that's going to do it for this weekend. So I'll see you guys next time.